Just what do you think you're doing? Map fans. Well, today we're writing a quick Python script to get the CRS of all layers in our project. CRS is really important in GIS and in QGIS 3 we've got some nifty under the hood stuff that allows us to project layers on the fly. However, if you're doing geoprocessing, you will need your layers to be in the same CRS. So we've got a few layers in this project and how would you find out what CRS they're all in? Well, you could hang over them and see what's what with the EPSG code. That's okay, but it's a little bit clunky. And if you've got lots of layers, you might forget which is which. So we can solve this with a little Python coding. So if we go up to our Python console and start that off, the first thing that we need to do is tell Python that we want to deal with this QGS project. So I'm gonna go for QGS project dot instance. And I am going to execute that. Let's have a look at what this particular project looks like in terms of Python. It's an object and it looks weird. Great. So within that object, within the instance, we have got some map layers. So let's have a look at the map layers. Okay. This is starting to make a little more sense. We can see that we've got our buffers, uh, timber sales, so this is a little more readable. Each of these map layers within our project actually has a value or a list of values. So we can ask for the values as well and see what they look like. And again, we've got some more objects in a list. So when we're faced with something like this, we might need to find out what values we've got. Now I know from looking at the docs that each map layer has a name value. So what I want to do is cycle through this, each object at a time, and print out the layer name. So I'm going to start off with our QGIS project instance, the map layers and the values of those layers. I'm going to wrap it up in a for loop. So for layer in this list, and then put a colon at the end, start our for loop, press tab to indent, Full layer in our QGIS project instance, map layers and the values of those map layers, I would like to print the layer name. And if I execute that, there we have a list of our layers in our QGS project. So that's pretty good, but what we actually want is a CRS. So again, inside those map layers in the values, we do have a layer CRS. So I'm gonna go through this again. And instead of just printing the layer name, this time I want to print the layer CRS. And let's have a look at what this looks like. Ooh, that's another object. Now the CRS itself does have a bunch of values too. So we can go into our layer CRS and we can pull out the auth ID. Let's have a look at the auth ID. Hit enter there and we've got some EPSG codes. Nice. But we don't know which layers these are associated with. So how could we solve that? Well, we could print our layer name again and then our layer CRS with the auth ID. So let's do that. I'm gonna go for layer, start my for loop, and then I'm going to print the layer CRS with the auth ID. But prior to that, I would like to include the layer.name. And just to make it a bit tidier, I'm gonna concatenate this with a space. So I'll put a little space in there and then concatenate that with our layer CRS and auth ID. I'll hit enter there. And there we go. We've got cities, that's our EPSG for them, vector down cells. Now at a glance, you can spot the odd one out. And here we've got roads. The EPSG is actually in WGS84, which we do not want. So if I was gonna do some geoprocessing, just to be sure, I might want to project roads to match the other CRSs. The other cool thing that you can do in the Python console 
is open up the editor. So if you click on this button, you can show the editor. And here it is over on the right hand side. And if I use this little two line script, I can save that. I'm going to call it get all layers CRS. Save that. Yes, I'll replace it. And then if I was to open up a new project, or open up an existing project, uh, let's go for the Geo Packages one. Don't want to save that. Here it is. Our script still exists, and we can just hit run. And there we go. We have got the CRS for all the layers in our new project. So this script can be used in whatever project you're working in. So that was just a quick tip. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to like, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you've got any questions or comments, use that comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching and happy mapping.